All right, we are back. We are back. Okay, so I know I've been hitting y'all with the questions, man, and I um, really appreciate all the support from you guys. Um, but I want to try something different, man. So I want to open up any just questions, any questions, q and I want to start opening up the videos with answering some of the questions that you guys may have, whether it is fragrance-related, re related, sports-related. If I can get personal with it, I'll be personal as much as I can uh, with the questions. So um, down below in this video, Hit me with the questions, and I will take the opportunity to answer those questions directly on the opening of the next, I don't know, four, five, six, seven videos at the beginning. I will screenshot and post the question and my subscriber. Um, and if there's multiple, we'll do multiple, but, you know, we'll keep it as short as we can because I know a lot of you here are just, y'all just want to hear about fragrances, and I respect that. So, again, Q&As, man. Drop me some questions. I'll be answering them at the beginning of the videos uh for the next couple of weeks or so or longer we'll see how it goes and we will go from there all right appreciate y'all yo what's up what's on your mind what you want to know all right YouTube, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, you got one more time, Dedrick Elix Jr. And I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video. All right, so we are here with the weekly rotation covering every fragrance that I wore the week of April the 2nd. All right, so another topsy turvy weather uh, week. We were hot, we were warm, we were a little cool. Just, you know, a lot going on with the weather, especially where I am. All right. But smell good family. Hopefully, you all are well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know what we on. Y'all know how we give it up here on this channel, man. Definitely appreciate you guys for stopping by yet one more time. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, these seven fragrances are really good if I would say so myself all right all right up first on Sunday it was very uh, spring like weather man it wasn't hot it wasn't warm it was just very comfortable had a nice little breeze and I decided to bring this out really love this stuff from the house of Latafa all right we went with Najdia Najdia all right this of course is a take on the invent Invictus DNA all right but it has uh, some green touches to it. Not overly abrasive green, but you can definitely smell it in the fragrance. And this has an additional notes of like cinnamon. Um, I believe there's a, uh, uh, there's some lemon ver verbena, lemon verbena in here with some citruses. That aquatic -y feel, that bubblegum uh, uh, undertone. But the thing that I enjoyed the most is how the green touches of this thing kind of uh, makes itself known once you get down to the dry down. I get solid performance uh, with this fragrance. I get around that seven to eight hours of performance and uh, it just held me down. I did get two compliments wearing this fragrance. So on Sunday with a very decent day weather-wise, very spring-like day, this one held me down from the house of La Tafa. <laughs> from the house of La Tafa, we have Naj Dia. Naj Dia. All right, good stuff here. You can get it for a great price as well, man. It's not going to knock your head off. All right, on Monday, I had a lot of errands to run. A lot of errands to run. I was moving out and about, and man, it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. It wasn't humid and nasty, but it was hot. So we went with this one from the House of Banana Republic. All right, we went with Cypress Cedar. Cypress Cedar. All right, now as you can guess, what does this have in it? Yeah, some cypress some cedar, some vetiver. Um, it also has some bitter orange, has a little bit of fresh spicy take to it as well. And uh, in the heat, this stuff really held me down. Like I said, it wasn't suffocating with the humidity, but it was not a cloud in the sky and the sun was booming, okay? So ran a lot of errands throughout the day, went to the gym early that morning, and uh, this one did me good, man. Performance around this around five to six hours. I was gonna put a little ISOE Super on, to layer it, but I didn't. I, I took it easy because I was really just running errands. Um, but this performed for me um, at a very decent level, and I enjoy it, man. During the summer and the hot days, gonna be wearing this one throughout this year for sure. Throughout this summer, from the House of Banana Republic, we went with Cypress and Cedar on Monday. On Monday. All right, on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we return to the office, and uh, this is just gonna be something that I wear uh, during this. Uh, warmer weather season with spring and summer from the house of Carolina Herrera. We went with Bad Boys, Cobalt Blue, 
EDP Extreme, all right? All these real long names. Now, this one is turning into something whether you, you know, depends who's talking about it, if they love it or if they hate it. I've seen some negative uh, uh, conversation about this one, but I, I really like it. I really like it. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a very nice blue fragrance. I love that plum note that is really uh, present in the fragrance. And to the office, this is really good. And doing those spring and summer uh, activities when you're moving around and you're out and about, this could be really good too. This could be something if you're not really trying to be super serious, but you just want to smell good, this could be good. I really like it. I get solid performance around six to seven hours uh, with this thing. If I put a little ice super or something on, maybe I can get a little bit longer, but I don't know yet. Six to seven hours is plenty enough. On Tuesday, back to the office. We went with this one, man, from the house of Carolina Herrera. We went with Bad Boy Cobalt Blue EDP Intense. We're just going to go with that, <laughs> okay? All right, on Wednesday, it was still rather warm out, man. Not a cloud in sight. And uh, it was time to bring out this one. I love this stuff. From the house of Giorgio Armani, we have Aqua Dijo et a Parfum. Et a Parfum. And you can see from last year till now, I put a massive dent in this bottle. To me, this is Profondo and Profumo, the original touches of uh, absolute, all wrapped into one, all right? If you love the Aqua Dijon DNA, then you will love the Etta Parfum, all right? This one just checks so many boxes off for me. In the office, it works really, really well. I love the lavender and the orange presence uh, in this fragrance, man. Uh, blended very nicely. Really good quality, and on my skin, on my skin, I get about six to seven hours, and um, you know, I, I just enjoy so much because it just does what needs to be done with the fragrance. So to the office on Wednesday, I'm gonna wear this bottle out this summer again. Might be time, by the time summer's over, I might need to get another bottle and have it on deck. Yeah, that's how much I really like this stuff. From the house of Giorgio Armani, once again, we have Aqua Dijon, et a Parfum. And a part four. All right. All right. Moving along to what we got Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Contraire. Uh, well, contraire. But, you know, believe it or not, <laughs> I really enjoy this flanker from this line, from this brand. Um, I know I haven't said some great things about it. And if you know me personally, I've said even nastier things about it. But I really like this one from the House of Dior, from uh, <laughs> from the Sauvage line. We have Dior Sauvage uh, Parfum. Parfum. This is my favorite from the line, hands down. Don't get me wrong. The EDT and the EDP, they smell good. But this is the best of the original three. No conversation. I will always have this. Once I run out of this, I will get another bottle. I love what they added to uh, this um, this flanker. The, the vanilla in here, um, kind of a more powdery uh, touch to it as well with the tonka bean. Um, I just like it. It's very smooth. It keeps its boldness, but it's rounded out very nicely, much more smoother, and I definitely can appreciate that. So I get good performance. No, I get great performance with this. I'm around that eight to nine hours of good, solid performance, and I got a bunch of compliments that day. And this is what this DNA does. It give you, it gets you compliments. Mass appealing fragrance. This is the best for sure. I love this stuff. I do, no matter what people may think from the house of Dior. On Thursday, we went with Dior Sauvage, the Parfum. The Parfum, okay. All right, on Saturday, I was off for the weekend, and um, excuse me, on Friday, sorry. On Friday, I was off for the weekend, and uh, just really had a good day Friday. Real good day, I did some handiwork around the house, got a haircut, and uh, later on that evening, myself, my son, my godson, and uh, my best friend, we all went to the movies to see the new Super Mario uh, movie. And it was really cool. It was really cool to see them bring that uh, video game to life. And the boys enjoyed the movie. All the kids in the theater enjoyed the movie. And we had a great time. But what I wore to the movies and throughout the day from the house of Afnon, we went with 9 a.m. Dive. 9 a.m. Dive. Man, this stuff... It's really good. I really enjoy it. I get a lot of the blue fragrances in here. You get a little YSL Y DNA, a little bit uh, Sauvage DNA, a little bit Chanel DA. It's kind of like all the strong blue performers. 
a little bit of each one of them are in this bottle, all right? That sandalwood really gives it this creaminess and gives it some body and some depth that a lot of blue fragrances don't have, all right? So I really enjoy, this is gonna get a lot of wear for me uh, during the warmer months for sure. And until the movies on Friday, this held me down for sure. Smells really good coming off my skin, if I do say so myself, from the house of Afna. We went with 9 a.m. dive. Really good stuff. You can get it for a great price, man. I would definitely get it before the prices start to raise, all right? And then on Saturday, man, Saturday was a terrible weather day. It rained, it was windy. Didn't really get out much. Went to the gym that morning, got back home, and really stayed in, watched some basketball, watched the UFC. Shout out Israel Adesanya, the last style bender. We went with this one while watching that from the house of Chanel. We just went with the EDT, blue to Chanel, and a toilet. And a toilet. This one gets lost in the shuffle. The EDP and the parfum get all the love, and I feel you because I give it love too. But every once in a while, when you just want a dumb reach fragrance and you want something that smells really good, and has some quality to it, and you don't have to think about it, this is a great go-to. Now, this is my five ounce bottle. That's right, I got a big boy of the EDT, and I wear this everywhere. I wear it to run errands. I wear it when I'm chilling. I wear it to the gym. I, I do. This just can do it all to the office, on the date, whatever you want. Blue to Chanel DNA gets it done, and the EDT is a great place to start. This stuff is good, man. From the house of Chanel, we went with the Blue to Chanel, at a toilet, at a toilet, all right. All right, Smell Good family, that is my weekly rotation covering uh, the week of April the 2nd. Of course, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about these fragrances? Do you have them? What's your experiences with them? And most importantly, let me know what you guys wore throughout the week. This is my favorite video that I do. I love to hear and I love to read the comments and interact with you guys about what you guys wore throughout the week. So please don't be shy. Let me know what you wore down below in the comments, all right? All right, Smell Good family, that's gonna wrap up this week's weekly rotation video. Of course, we'll be back next week with another round of fragrances that I wore throughout the week, all right? So until next time, y'all know what's up, man. Splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. Take care of yourselves, treat yourselves right. Treat yourselves right. If you don't take care of you and you don't do right by you, who will? Who will? All right? Take care of yourselves. Y'all be easy.